What's up everybody, my name is Cody Rattler and welcome back to episode 4 of Spiritfarer. Guys, if I haven't made it obvious by now, I love this game. I'm having so much fun. Uh, I'm continuing to play on the side in between filming just to do behind the scenes stuff that is rhetorical. Like more crops, grinding, collecting things. Uh, but for the episodes, I'm saving the good stuff. I want to make sure anything that feels like it's going to be story related, I'm uh, making sure not to progress unless you guys are seeing it too. Uh, that being said, I'm so excited to play this game. I just keep, I keep filming episodes at this point so I can keep playing. Uh, but today is a new day. I'm randomly going around and doing some stuff as I'm talking, but. Uh, we have a dragon to meet based on the map, which sounds very exciting. Uh, I didn't know there were going to be dragons in this game, but I saw it on the map after I stopped filming episode 3. And I was like, oh god, what the hell is that thing? I cannot wait. Let's go pull up the map real quick. That thing, Quartz Dragon. So before I go there, I'm going to go to Green Halton because that's on the way. This is another main island. and. I had a feeling I might be meeting another spirit. Like, it may be too soon to pick up a fourth spirit, but I've been meeting them on these islands, so it's definitely a good chance. Uh, so far, I've got the three. I really do like all three of them. This is my uncle, I guess. He's a toad. Uh, up until now, I didn't know how they knew Stella, but this is an actual relative of Stella's. And what's interesting is I still don't know how any of them know Stella or why we're here. From what I gathered, Stella is death. I know that sounds very morbid, but I feel like Stella is the gatekeeper. And obviously, she's a very positive one. The game is a lot more uplifting than just, you know, death collecting spirits, but all these people seem to know Stella, and they're all in animal forms, and I really hope to learn more about all of this. I can't wait. Uh,. I think my goal for today's episode is try to get as much story done as I can, because I have all time in the world to do the grinding stuff. Alright, it's nighttime, it's raining, ooh lordy, yes, 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 give me all the kappa o, kappa o, oh, what is this, oh, he's not a spirit, we can, I don't see the animal shape behind him. Hey, I came to, I mean, he came here to cut down trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not gonna start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss my axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Uh, foreshadowing. All right, let's go ahead and grind up this tree. Since that guy can't. We'll go ahead and take the wood on this island. Nothing wrong with that logic, right? Almost crushed uncle there. We'll be picking up some wood, hoping to do some work on these later. You want a hug? No, I already gave you a hug. What do you need? Are you hungry? You already, you already ate, but we're going to see if you still want to eat. Oh, you'll still eat. At this point, I can give him anything. I still haven't figured out what his favorite meal is. I have a feeling that might be its own quest because uh, he does like everything, so there's got to be something, one thing out there that he favors above all. Berries, maple logs, ooh, we got a diving spot, and that would be the end of this island. Wow, so, oh, valuable ring. Uh, yeah, I guess that was really it for this island. It was really just collecting, and I don't see any spirits, so, huh. There's that spirit that seems to need his own axe. And he's admitted to writing poetry. Or she, I can't really tell. I mean, they're just hooded figures. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be too dark to navigate. We gotta go to sleep. Alright, alright, let's go to sleep. Oh wait, before we go to sleep, I've been getting into the habit of trying to cook something because it's impossible to actually burn something. So it doesn't really matter if it cooks for too long. So, might as well throw something in that we need to cook, right? We have a lot of carrots. Let's cook five of these. And that will take a while, but we're also going to sleep in. 
So far in my experience, I haven't been able to get past the uh, the Z mark up top. I just, I've waited a while and it doesn't seem like I can wait through the next day. I think I might have to, to sleep every time I'm doing it. But it's whatever. It just budges me right to that next little spot. All right, now we can look at the map. I've explored this island, so I've got another big chunk that I can see. Let's go visit the dragon, the quartz dragon. Oh, I'm excited for this. You guys. Rise and shine, everybody. No one wants to come out, it's raining. Okay. I made grilled veggies for everyone. No one wants to say hi. Fine. I still can't get over how sick this site is. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. We're here, but where's the head of the dragon? Oh, okay. I'm running back. This is actually really cool and scary at the same time. I thought that it might be it. Oh no, this is the dream that the serpent was having. The dragon. I guess it was inevitable that it would be here, following me always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. All right, this makes me really nervous. Oh gosh. Okay, can I get back up on here? Okay, you can. Oh man, this is like a mad dash now, it seems. Quartz. Oh no, we missed that. Yeah, buddy, but I didn't miss that. What? Oh, I was like, what's happening here? I can't double jump that far. Yeah, I'm getting better at that swing. Okay, what's next? Hello, dragon. You're bringing me really far from my ship, and I don't feel comfortable with that. Dragon, you've brought me way too far. Oh, well, am I going back now? That's cool. I'm okay with that. I was gonna say, if you keep bringing me further, I'm gonna feel more comfortable, uncomfortable. Dang, this is like a gold mine central. Oh man, I overdid it. Come on, Stella. Oh, I did it again. Come on, Stella. Yes, all right. Got a little uh, ahead of myself earlier by saying I was good at that. Alright, so I think the trick is really just letting go right after the second time. We did it! We did it! It's cool that, like, that's the most, like, intense and, like, scary and boss-like things get is saving a dragon. That's really cool. I like that. It's not really stressful, but at the same time, it's like, I gotta get this done. So they're basically saying, I wonder what's gonna happen if we cross its path. However, I feel I might feel about it for now though. I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you Stella for everything Oh, you're sad you got really depressed Has witnessed the dragon from her past. Why does that make you sad? Come here. You need a hug Yeah, you're better now You want some food? I can't say that because my pets will start freaking out Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't have any dessert for you, and I'm sorry. Speaking of, let's make some dessert. What is my dessert options? I think I can do... See, that gives me healthy. I don't, I don't think that gives me what I'm thinking, but let's try it. Let's do five raspberries. I think that gives me a dessert, but I'm not sure. 
Yeah, dude, I really want to get you the sawmill. I swear to you, that'll be the next thing we're gonna do. We're doing it right now. What do I gotta do? I need linen. Let's see, where would I go for linen? I didn't know I could just explore somewhere that's uncharted. I mean, I know we got like a map or something at one point that told us we're invited to that spot, but yeah, I didn't know we could just go into the dock. All right, real quick, I'm gonna try to fish because it's raining and uh, I've discovered that you get more rare fish while it's raining. And I think fishing is better served while you're moving with the boat. Oh, that was a message in a bottle. It's probably the dude's poetry. Uh-oh. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do it. Yes, let's try to catch some lightning. You guys remember what this is like. Alright, where's it gonna be? Start doing your dance. There it is. Boom. 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 I gotta like push down in order to like really get drop down a few levels. Boom. Okay, I can't get all of them, but I'm gonna get as many as I can. Boom. Did my cat just teleported. I wasn't looking at the cab, but it looked like the lightning just summoned it. Oh gosh, there's so many of them right now. Just trying to keep up, just trying to keep up. That's all you can do is just try to keep up. Okay, that's probably the last one. Alright, it was. Thanks, bruh. So we know it's going to be something better than the basic fish if we get the option to, like, let go. Because like the boot and stuff, that's not gonna be an issue if uh, you won't see the little line go red if it's gonna be something basic. So like this is yellow and if I keep holding it, the longer I do it, oh no, that was a basic one, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, we have arrived. <clears throat> I'm excited, I have no idea what this place is. Oh man, Garanu Fields discovered. I feel like this is gonna be a village. That looks like a big island. Let's do it to it. None of you guys want to say anything to me? I guess this is my find, huh? Alright, me and Daffodil got this. A trustworthy cat. Oh, a visitor. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Furugawa tours? <laughs> of course you are. You're holding our brochure. The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history and flora of this island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Don't worry, there's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? Five minutes? We got five minutes. Mm. Perfect, let's start right away. Mm. This island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful mm. and quiet. I like that. That's something you'll notice with the fauna. Rice patches and healthy forests are its main attraction. Moving on. Oh no, I don't want to leave. I thought I could, could explore something down there. Don't get too close. What? <laughs> this like, tour guide's like nervous because I'm right on her ass. Uh, the rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one is around. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why. I sometimes play in them when I'm off duty. That's besides mm -hmm. the point. Off to our next stop. Yo, if there's some rice to be had here. I wanna take some rice. Can I get some rice from the gift shop? Oh wait, there is no gift shop. Can I pick some of these mushrooms? Why is it getting dark? Oh, if I could cut that down. Oh, I probably shouldn't cut it down. No, don't do it. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. She's like, this is our most sacred tree. <laughs> Oak log, hell yeah. I have no regrets. <laughs> 
You can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection. A strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour, to be honest. If we could keep moving along, that'd be great. Alright, so you paid no attention to the fact that I just took your entire tree. Just telling me to step off. You know what? I'm gonna take another tree. And soon enough, your forest will be gone. <laughs> and then you'll have no connection. Oh yeah, now you want me right up there, don't you? Wow, nine more oak logs. That's so cool. I think that might help me actually build a bigger ship, maybe? This fortune tree is the centerpiece of the whole islands. We're not sure where it was, when it was planted. People from all around would travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. This concludes our tour. We're grateful for your participation. Thanks for your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. I recommend something along the lines of 50 glims. Yeah, why not? That's amazing. I, I knew I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up for our upcoming tours newsletters. You have an educational great time. Thank you for your car spirit. Cool. You know what? 50 glims, I can make that back in a heartbeat. I'd rather have, like, friends moving forward than piss people off. Uh-oh. Wait. Strawberries! Yes! Strawberry fields forever. Okay, so what's with this, like, sheep in between us? Oh, do you like strawberries? Oh, you're hungry too. Let's see if you like the strawberries. I'm gonna give you one, okay? I mean, nope. So far, there's nothing else that we didn't already know. Okay, so I've heard that this sheep is a resource somehow, but... I guess the Everlight can't turn into shears. <laughs> Maybe there's an item I get. Whoa! Citrine. Oh, this is another spirit! Yes, how do I get up here? I must figure out how to get up here. Daffodil, I need a boost. Is there a triple jump I'll eventually get? Damn you, spirit. I really want you with my collection. I am the reaper after all. All right, so I've concluded there's no way to get up there right now. Can I pray to the tree for a way to get up there? Oh, we got mushrooms. I don't know how I missed them the first time. I'm just gonna keep tapping, eh? So I'm glad the tour wasn't too long, but at the same time, I gotta go all the way back to the beginning in order to get back to my ship. Oh yeah, I forgot I was cooking. See, it's a good thing this stuff never really burns. Oh, he's got a surprise, do you? Poached fruit. Talk to me. I went outside the boat, gathered some berries, but I went a little overboard. I have too much. Here you go. Have a berry day. Oh, thanks. Oh, they're both sleeping now. I gotta get out of here. They are very sleepy. We have to sleep too. Alright, new day, new me. Who dis? Where can we go now? Oh, what is this? Okay, there's, so there's, there's a countryside. A couple more random islands we can explore. Mount Toriyama. Um, I don't know what that little green area is. It looks almost sickly. What is this? Is there something like specifically here? Let's just go to this little tram thing first. I don't know. It wasn't anything that I could actually highlight over, but scallop. Common muscle. Oh yeah, I gotta wake everybody up. Wake up, bitches! Why don't you fish anymore? It's really calming. You just cast a line of weight. It's so relaxing. It's the fight of your life. Give it all. What's not to love about it? I do fish. What are you talking about? I'll fish for you right now. Oh, this one's tricky. See, there's that red I was talking about. 
a bay shrimp. Is that it? Is that all you wanted me to do? <laughs> You'll always take anything. What in the heck? Okay, we've, we've arrived. Here we go. What is this thing? Welcome to one of my famous bus stops. I found them. They're mine. All mine. My name's Alex. It's a beautiful name. The best name. And, but don't call me Alexander. Blech. It's a garbage name. A garbage name for garbage people. Where was I? Oh yes. I'm Alex and I'll be your bus driver. I wasn't always a bus driver. Before I was an accountant. <laughs> Numbers were always were my shame. And taking you places is my game. Choo choo. No wait, that's a train. This is a bus stop and I'm your driver. <laughs> Wanna go somewhere? Travel. Well hold up, what does the bus do for me? Oh. Is that like a quick teleport? Well now I'm curious. I think it is. I don't wanna do it because I'm in the area that I wanna be at right now. Alright. Well, it's good to know about you, Alex. <laughs> we'll probably take advantage of that later, but seriously, it doesn't seem like there's any point just to see it happen. Watch later, I find out you'd have to do something to, or like doing it the first time triggers something important. <laughs> All right, so I still wanna just make coffee. It seems to be worth the most. Okay, you're not hungry. Are you hungry? Uh, I'm just not sure if you remember. I was a diva with gold lettering and a manual wheel. You know, I've always been into textiles. A few years ago, I went to a museum that had a ton of different fabric cloth machines. I couldn't help but to notice you can build a loom on this ship. This could be a great opportunity for me to teach you a few tricks. I'm sure I'm sure you'll need thread and fabric soon, so you should definitely add a loom to this boat. The resources to find it should be simple. Just check in your blueprint table. All right, I definitely want to do that. Okay, sorry, I didn't know I gave you popcorn last. Jesus, here's some coffee. There you go, I'll make you happy. And here's a hug too, that's double happy. Oh, we can do the loom now. Oh, hell yeah. How did I not notice, how do I not notice these things? Okay, we're gonna tuck the loom right in there. That's awesome, right above the kitchen. Hell yeah. Can I not do the sawmill still? No, I need linen thread, but I bet you I can get linen thread from this. Ah, man, I love progressing in this game. Why does this look so cool? It's a thread shop. Fuck yes. This loom is fantastic. Don't be scared. In a perf it's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. You need to put fiber inside, then you spin. You just have to make sure you hit the right target. And you get a little extra if you hit the marker needle. Okay. See? Pretty easy, right? Now you try it. Try it with this fiber. Okay. Okay, let's just... Let's do all five. Oh, jeez, we can do more. Let's do ten. Um, loom. God, I hope I don't screw this up. Now what do I do? Do I just hold it? Boom. 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 All right, not so bad. I'm trying to get it like directly under the needle. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, it's not that hard. The machine does all the work for you. You just have to flow with it. And that's what makes it so mm -hmm. soothing. The rhythm, the sound, the feel of it, utterly satisfying. Probably give it a go myself when mm -hmm. you don't need it. But don't worry about materials, I'll manage. That is so cool. Okay, now we've made a bunch of threads, so. A word, please. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've recently been very tired. I'm afraid to say it's starting to wear my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think a guest house is... Yes, they're asking for a home. A bit too noisy, a bit too cramped. I'd hate to ask this, but could you care manage a little private space on this boat? I think it would help me tremendously. Then we could continue our lessons, but nothing too fancy. Just a place for me to sleep and meditate. With lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and a bit delightful if it has natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you, Stella, deeply. Yes, I'm so excited. Keep it coming, ladies and gents. All right, let's see what we can build right now. Yes, I can do the threads. Okay, we'll do the sawmill in a sec, because that's going to trigger 
our friend. Oh, we can't do the oak plank though. I don't have any oak plank. All right, so we gotta figure out where we can get some oak plank for you. It's probably gonna be from the sawmill, yes. <laughs> One thing after another. This is cool, tucking it in like this. I like that. Man, one thing after another. We are coming together, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, I am like just thrilled. This is so much fun. I'm just like going crazy on the ship right now. Come up here, uncle, what are you doing? You chubby toad. Can you not? So I gotta move this, is that the problem here? Oh no. I'm gonna cancel because that frog's having a hard time getting in here. I got a feeling that it might be due to the placement of the ship. Let me just try to edit something real quick. We're gonna move him over here and move the garden up top for a second. I don't like the way that it looks either, but this guy's having like a really rough time spawning where he needs to go. Thank you. All right, whatever. We'll move it back after this. Sawmill's huge, what a beauty. It was just one problem. Now don't get mad, I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's what he calls a favor. See what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. Are you gonna tell me about how I did this? Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. And then cut it. Measure twice, cut. Uh, you just need to keep your saw blade steady and on the cutting line. Uh, if you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a spinky or an arm or something worse. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. Okay, we'll try that again. I only did one maple log, so I don't feel like I screwed up too much. Let's just do one again. Oh. Okay. I'm not the best at that, but let's try this again. Let's do like five of these. Ten of these. I think using the joystick might... Yeah, joystick's much better than the D-pad. Alright, we're just gonna blast through these real quick. Alright, and last maple wood. I think I might want to cut a couple of the oaks, because I think we needed that for something we were building. I don't know. So let me make like five oaks. Oh, the oak is like super wavy. I'm not getting that one really well. Perfect. Perfect again. Terrible. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Talk to me. You did great, you're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Remember, be careful with the sawmill. Don't mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you got any leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut off your hand. I agree with you. All right, real quick, let's go ahead and move this shit back to normal. All right, I like where that's at. I like how everything's coming along. Let's see what everybody's gotta say. So I gotta tell you, there's something I stumbled upon us. Some time ago, up until now, it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? Where that sounds is not something far from here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world too. I must admit I've, I've been actively trying mm -hmm. to avoid it. At any rate, it's becoming hard to ignore. As I spent much time with you, I think I'm ready to tackle this mm -hmm. challenge. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrow there, but it's worth a shot. I've added location to your map. I'll be ready when you are. I'm gonna pause right here and just say that I think each one of these spirits has their own story mission. And in, in order to get them to the other side, you have to complete that. I'm just speculating at this point, but it sounds like this deer needs to go find closure. You've been chopping up at the sawmill. I like it. Getting work done. Learn a new skill. You've got managed material. Maybe you could build me a house. Oh, let me sketch something real quick. Yes. You've already got the material to build me something nice. Loudly, according to your friend, Gwen. Yeah, Gwen doesn't like you, Atlas. Okay, now what do you need? Jeez. As you know, I get hungry. That, that's a fact. Sometimes when I get hungry, I really have specific things. Your Aunt Viv would call me laser-focused tummy. Don't get me wrong. I still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I just like you put effort into this one. I'll give you a shout when I get a craving. Hopefully, I won't ask for anything extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. 
Okay, so you're now asking for a workshop? I'm not sure. Let's see what we can build right now. Okay, you do want a workshop, a tools workshop. Um, I think that might, okay, that's for his house. All right, well first let's build the snake their house because she deserves it. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to upgrade uh, our shit before we can do any other house building. That's kind of nuts to think about. Actually, you know what? Let me try to see if I can move just... Move this over one. Yes, that's what I thought. You could tuck in right there. And then... We don't have the linen yet, but we can get it. Oh, snake, this looks amazing. I gotta see what the snake does when it goes to sleep. <laughs> it just passes out and hangs over the edge. Oh, it's got a basement too. I love it. I can't wait to see how I can upgrade these. By the way, I don't even know if I showed you guys if I was recording or what, but look at this. There's an improve section, and when I click on homes, like the snakes, there's things that you can add. So now in the basement, you could see that I could add a crystal table, which the snake is like super gypsy. And then I could add Monstera Deliciosa, which is just more plants for the house. Uh, yeah, I, I just, God, I can't get over how fun this game is. Uh, we're going to keep going for this episode. I want to just keep unlocking stuff. I can't do that unless I'm filming, so we're going <laughs> to we're gonna do that. All right, I can get some wall decorations for the deer. Let's do that. Some maple logs. We've upgraded her house. Uh, can I upgrade anything else? Oh yeah, I could upgrade the, uh, I could have put lights in the guest house. The only problem is I don't have fire glow. I guess we'll figure that where the jellyfish are, right? Um, all right. I know I want to build a foundry, which is coal and planks. And then I want to build Atlas's house, which is linen. So, I'm going to go to the linen shop. I mean, I'm going to load, I don't know. Let's just do five. All right, A. Oh yeah, you gotta let go, shit. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to tap A again. Oh, I was past it. Boom. Boom. Is that it? I feel like I got a lot there. Cool, we can build Atlas's house. Or it's a workshop. Okay, we can't though, because we need somewhere that we can actually put it. That's a bummer. Oh, where is it? Damn it, that's so close. Uh, no, I can't get much lower than that. That's a bummer. Mm. If I could just get one lower, that would be so cool. But unfortunately... Actually, you know what? Let's try this. Can I move this? Way up here. Can I move this all the way down? Move this. That works like that or no? Okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, now let's try to build a tools. Oh no, why to cancel? Oh. Yes, man, I am cramming this boat. This is now a cargo ship. A tool, I'm so excited for you. I don't know if you're gonna wake up, buddy. I don't even remember where the guest house is. Oh, this is so cool. A tool gets his own like little, it's like a garage, like an uncle would like, and then a pond like a frog would like. Oh, this is the kitchen up here now, okay. I'm so turned around since I've moved everything. Okay, guest house is still down here. A tool is past the F out. Um, all right, let's go to bed. All right, we are awake, a new day. Wake everybody up. This music's still going crazy because the freaking walrus were still parked here. We haven't moved, we've just been upgrading everything. I probably built like four freaking things now. It's perfect, Sprout, it's massive. All this room for little old me, I can't wait to catch up, some, sh catch up on some shut eye. This is really great, thank you so much. I won't forget this. 
I'm so happy you have your own place. I'm so happy for you. Oh, and I gotta go down to the snake too. It's incredible, Stella. Wood, plants. It's even a natural room for meditation. You really outdid yourself. Well, I sleep in that. How well I'll sleep in that hanging bed. Yes, I'll be back in to full health in no time at all. Maybe. Listen, I have a favor to ask you. It's become obvious I need to take care of, take better, better care of myself. Let the body listen to the mind. To that end, I need clarity. I need power and energy, positive m minerals, and what I'm missing right now. Stones and crystals connected to the to the world on an elementary level. Just as the moon is dark when hidden from the sun, living beings wither, and their telluric link is severed. So Stella, what do you say? Can you bring me some gems and minerals to fill up my cabinet? Three of them should be enough, and it won't be for nothing. You'll see. I'll teach. I can teach all about the interesting properties of each one you bring to me. Cool. So we got a gem collector. Talk. Mm -hmm. You want a snack? Uh, take some popcorn. You love comfort mm -hmm. food. You want a hug too? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. It's because you are in great spirits right now. What do you want? Oh no! I didn't want to go outside. You know me, I could always go for a little snack. Something salty, something buttery, something with flavor. Oh geez, you know it'd be perfect. A bag of popcorn all to myself. Go ahead and heat up some corn. Dude, I already got your popcorn. It really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. I used to make pop bags of popcorn on movie night for them. Even with the TV turned up, you, could, you couldn't you could hear the actors talking. <laughs> the crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm those little monsters down. Watching these terrible kids Aww. movies, I wish I was still there to see them laughing, for them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine, nothing special. It reminds me of my first kitchen in a terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing there. I was so careless with spices, not enough salt. Anyways, here's a little something that brightens up this, brightens up this mess. Don't worry, it's not spice rock. You'll need to actually work for it, but it will be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some oven space. Your kitchen will be looking right in no time. Oh, you guys are all treating me so kindly. All right. Stomach's rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? Oh no, you want the gems. What you need is food. Uh, dessert? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Take this hug while you're at it. She's like, I'm trying to eat. Cool, everybody's happy. Oh no. I don't think that there's anything else like, I need to build right now, right? No, we do need a foundry. I need more coal and more oak planks. I don't want to edit. I want to improve the kitchen. And we need linen fabric. I don't know if I've ever had linen fabric. Alright guys, I've got a handful of things that I need to continue to do and some things that I'm probably just going to do off to the side, but... Uh, in the next episode, we're going to focus on upgrading the ship, making it a bigger size. We'll swing by Albert's and see what we can get. And then I'm going to continue doing some of these story missions. Maybe we'll get close to releasing one of these spirits. I don't want to say goodbye to anybody yet. I've been having so much fun getting to know them, but man, I know it's getting to that point where I'm going to have to complete some missions for them and then I'm going to have to get their spirits on out of here. All right, and that's where we're going to end episode four. Thank you guys so much for watching this far into the video. I know that I'm having such a good time with this series. I really appreciate that you guys are also enjoying it and supporting it. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new here. I've had about a 50-50 split recently with new viewers versus subscribers, so we're getting into new new faces. I'm, I'm happy to be exposed to new people. If you're new here, please subscribe. With that being said though, I hope you guys all have a great day and I will catch you in the next video. Adios.